what's going on guys welcome back to the channel hope everyone's having a great day uh thanks for tuning in if you haven't uh subscribed already please go down below hit that subscribe button like button and also turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any more of our videos we have a quick install for the uh cat eye chevy today we're gonna be installing a cold air intake on the truck um link will be below in the description uh we're gonna be installing that on the truck today but first you can see the lighting that we have outside under the carport is just horrible so we're gonna change that out real quick so uh picked up some uh i'm sure everyone's been seeing these going going around on online and everything the led deformable light um they're supposed to be super bright so we're gonna throw i have two of these we're gonna go ahead and throw these in um and upgrade our lighting before we knock out the coda intake heard a lot of good things about these so uh we're gonna go ahead and see what they're all about Definitely lights up the uh, outside space a lot. So uh, I'll give those two thumbs up. Um, I'll link the product link in the description as well. So y'all check those out if you uh, want to upgrade these at your home. So let's get to it. Um, pull the truck up. We're going to uh, pop the hood. And as you can see, I already... Kind of assembled the cage. Um, I figured that would be kind of boring to do on video, so I already um, assembled the cage. So I'm gonna pull the truck up, pop the hood, and we're gonna start uh, throwing it in. But man, check that six oh out. Looking pretty darn good. So we're gonna be diving straight into this uh, project. I have not read any directions. Um, mainly put this thing together off of the picture that they sent. Uh, should be pretty self-explanatory. There's just one pipe and a couple boots, a few clamps, so shouldn't be too hard. There's our main piece right there. I'm gonna start just pulling this apart. Um, you have a your map sensor there. Uh, Clamp there, clamp there, and it should come out after that. Um, it doesn't feel, it seem like it's in there per, that secure. So probably a few little um, tabs down there and just pop it out. Did clean the engine bay pretty good, um, as you probably saw in the earlier clip. Um, but it's pretty clean for the most part. All the dust and... Uh, Dirt surface dirt that was uh on everything didn't clean this because this is going to be coming out, so that's why that's still dirty. Um, clean the hose that explains why it's all dried out looking, but uh, everything else looks pretty good. So, we're gonna uh start by pulling out these this clip, that clip, um, disconnecting this uh map sensor right here, and uh, it should come out pretty easy few clips down there and should just pop up so uh get to it well that was pretty easy i literally took like a minute to pull that out but uh yes i put the beanie on uh it's getting a little cold outside so covered up a little bit but like I was saying, that literally took like a minute to pull out. I'm feeling like that was a little too easy. But uh, we got it out. And I don't understand this design at all. Uh, it's like a big bladder bag or whatever. Like, why? Jim, explain. It doesn't make any sense. Ford would never do that. Just playing. No, I don't want to run any comments. <laughs> um, but <clears throat> I'll take a look at this air filter box, and this air filter that's in here looks preferably new. You can see up in there, looks pretty new, not too dirty. Maybe I'll have to crack it open so you can see the other side, the intake side. But 
fairly simple disassembly. Uh, like I said, they had these little, um, I don't know what you call these, where it just pops in there. So all you gotta do is pop that out, get that off of there, wiggle it a little bit, pull it out. Simple. So let's hope the new setup goes in pretty simple as well. I'm gonna go ahead and clean up the uh, valve body because the truck has, it doesn't have a hard idle, but it has, it kind of sometimes, it'll idle real, real low and almost seems like it wants to kill. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, clean that out. I saw um, Ryan Mayer do this on his uh, Vortex. So I'm uh, gonna give it a shot. Hopefully that fixes it. Um, it's not really broken, it just does it sometimes. So we're gonna go ahead and do that and see if it uh, if that helps us out while we're pulling this apart. Before you go to install your box, you're going to want to remove three screws, one here, there's one on this front corner, and this one right here. They're, they look like this, and they fit down through these three holes on your new box, one like that, there, and right there. And they are, they're 10 mil bolts so you want to remove those first grab your box go ahead and try to situate it when you put it in you want to make sure these bolts are loose so you can have room to move it around because um, it's not going to line up perfectly when you first put it in there so make sure these bolts are loose when you first put it in so you can wiggle it around and fit it how you want it but uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then I'm going to catch back up with you guys, show you the next step. Now that we got the box in, all tight, um, secure, we're going to go ahead and assemble the map sensor with the new um, filter. And go ahead and put on the boot from coming out of your throttle body. So when you take your map sensor off your old... Uh, intake make sure you keep this rubber uh, piece with it because the way it goes on here is this piece slides on to the filter let's see do it with one hand here but this basically slides onto the filter like that and then this boot goes from there to your intake pipe and then this boot comes straight off your engine like that with a clip or a clamp hose clamp like that and goes on like that so that's the gist of it i'm about to go ahead and throw this in um, and we'll be just about done, guys. I'm going to give you guys a startup clip of the first startup with the new intake on. So, uh, But when you go ahead and put the pipe intake pipe, the curb, the curb side, or the side with the curb in it is going to go towards the motor. So it's going to be something like this. And this little piece right here. will clamp on or you'll push this little thing through that and the long piece on the intake will go on this vibration mount coming off your air box right there you can see that little stud coming out with the washer and that rubber isolator that's where this long piece will connect to so uh, i'm gonna go ahead put you guys on time lapse and we're gonna finish this project up
had to do a lot of uh, adjusting and finagling and everything, but we got it in. It's solid. And uh, now we're going to do a first startup with it. Uh, motor's cold. I can stick my hand on it. It's cold, so you guys don't think I started already. So I'm going to put you guys where the exhaust is and see if you guys can tell the difference in the exhaust note. You can really hear it pull air when you hit the gas. So I just took the truck around the block. Um, the throttle response does feel a little better. Um, I'm not 100% sure if it is better. It could be all of a mind thing, but throttle response does uh, feel a little better as well as the um, the the RPMs, it idles a lot better. Um, seems pretty much the same as the stock. Uh, it looks pretty good. If I, you have to ask me, probably need to get some oil so I can oil that filter. But uh, it looks pretty good. I think I paid 40 bucks for it. So uh, not really expecting a whole lot of performance gain from it. It's just a aesthetics thing. So not really that big of a deal if I don't see a difference. Um, really wasn't expecting this to really see a difference. It was just I wanted something to dress up under the hood. So when I paint some other stuff under there, you know, it kind of looks good and goes with the build. So uh, it is what it is. If we get some performance gain, um, that'll be great. But if we don't, I mean, that is totally fine too so hope you guys enjoyed please go down below hit that like button subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any more of our videos we have a lot of videos coming for that truck um it's just trying to get parts in uh in order and in line to uh make videos with that truck but they are coming so you guys continue to subscribe and uh support the channel appreciate it